Hello and welcome to the 2022 Dallas ISD Math Olympiad. My name is Stephen Hoy. And I'm Jennifer Bishop. And we are your hosts for today's event. The Dallas ISD Math Olympiad is an eSports event focused on mathematics empowered by Dimension U. Dimension U provides an eSports platform that delivers mathematics curriculum in a competitive, multiplayer gaming experience. Today's event will feature students from schools across Dallas ISD in grades 3 through 8 divided into seven separate competitions. The schedule kicks off with grade three at 9.30 a.m. Central Time. In a few moments, the complete schedule will appear on your screen and you, our viewing audience, will have the opportunity to watch any of these events streamed live right here. Good luck to all the participants. Game on and math on. Okay, welcome everyone, spectators and students, to the Math Olympiad Grade 3 Challenge for Dallas ISD. We are going to start our game room in on my count of three. So, three, two, one. And we are off. For all of those that are viewing today, we have students representing Jerry Junkins Elementary School, Lee McShann Elementary School, and Victor Hexter Elementary School in Dallas ISD. We have an exciting competition today. It is 10 minutes in the Dimension U game of Tower Storm. Today, students, uh, our third grade students will be focused on mathematic concepts from place value, multiplication facts, and even an odd numbers. Our gameplay is underway. Let's see if we have anyone on the board yet. And we do, Aaron and Teresa, both on the board with 25 points. This is a 10 minute game. We are down uh, almost to the nine minute mark. And again, this is our grade three challenge for the Dallas ISD competition today, part of the STEM Expo event. So students, thank you all for joining. Good luck as you are navigating the tower storm landscape. Everyone looks like they're doing a great job. I know we had a couple participants who were unable to join today, uh, but we've got four great participating students in here. And Teresa just jumped up into the lead with 150 points, followed by Aaron and Jose, both with 75. Our viewing participants can see the leaderboard that is pulled up on the schedule and see the students moving back and forth between the question terminal and the Tower of Rings in the Tower Storm game. Teresa now at 250 points and Aaron at 150. Great job. We are now at the eight minute mark. Students are doing a fantastic job. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the Tower Storm game or are watching, what the objective is for students to run to the question terminal, solve a math problem, and they're given a sphere that they need to carry over to the Tower of Rings. Each one of those spheres has a color attached to it, so it might be red, green, yellow, or blue. And when students go to the Tower of Rings, their objective is to throw that sphere at a ring that is a different color. And if they answer the question correctly, it will convert the color of that ring to the color of the sphere they're carrying. If a student can get three or more rings to match of the same color, it will cause the rings to collapse and students will earn bonus points for that. In addition, every time a student continues to answer a question correctly consecutively, additional bonus points will be added onto their score. Whereas if you answer a question incorrectly, the next time you go back to get another question, 
and you score if you answer it correctly, you come back to your beginning starting point balance um, for earning those points. So let's take a look at our scoreboard again. With six and a half minutes remaining, Jose has jumped up to the lead with 650 points. Awesome job, Jose. Aaron now at 350, Teresa at 275. So an exciting game, an exciting kickoff for our Math Olympiad. We will be having 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th eighth, eighth grade challenges throughout the day. So for those of you watching, I hope that you'll stay and watch some of the other competitions. As a reminder for everyone, the awards ceremony will be at 2 p.m. on the Dallas ISD STEM Expo webpage. All right, so we are closing in on the five minute mark. We are almost halfway through this game. It looks like Aaron and Teresa are very close with 375 and 325. Jose at 650 points. Looks good. Kids, if anyone's having trouble or anything, let us know. You can send me a chat um, if you don't want to unmute. But you guys are doing such a great job. Yes, Jose now at 675. Teresa in second place at 475. And Aaron at 425. Just as we approach now, we have five seconds left and we will be halfway through the game. Oh, five minutes. Oh, five, yeah, oh, sorry, I see. five <laughs> seconds until the halfway mark, <laughs> but we are, <laughs> we are now under the five minute mark. Jose is back up in the lead with 725, Teresa hanging at 475, and Aaron at 425. Great job, everybody. This is a lot of math. Now, those of you who aren't sure, I mean, the only way students can earn points here is by answering their math questions correctly. So these students in Dallas ISD are answering math questions on this Saturday morning, and that's pretty cool. Yes, it's really awesome. So um, let's see. And remind everyone, Miss Bishop, of what the first place prize is for today. Yes, yeah, so the first place student today will win a, an Amazon e-gift card. Um, a $50 Amazon e-gift card, and then Dallas ISD will have a medal for the students who come in first, second, and third place. Okay, so Jose now at 725, Teresa at 675, Aaron at 600. This is really anybody's game. Any one of these students could take the first place position. I think we've seen them all shifting back and forth. As you can, as our viewing audience can see the students navigating back and forth. Some of them are using their various power-ups that they get or they receive when they answer a question. So someone was just super jumping. I see somebody flying with their jet pack. Some of the other power-ups um, power that you get are either a super speed or a teleport which teleports you directly from the question ter terminal over to the Tower of Rings. Oh, we have had a change, an update in the leaderboard. Teresa now at 1,275 points. She has broken the 1,000-point barrier. Jose at 750 and Aaron at 700. We are just under the three-minute mark, so we are coming down to the conclusion of our Grade 3 Math Olympiad event. Still plenty of time for those scores to change. Great job, everybody. Thank you to everybody who is watching and supporting the students. This is a great kickoff to today's events. Okay, Teresa now at 1,475 points. Jose, 775, Aaron at 700. As we come down to the two minute mark in about 10 seconds. Okay, Teresa keeps edging her, sky, her score higher and higher at 1575. Aaron has jumped up to 725 now. Jose at 775. We are at a minute and 45 seconds remaining. I don't think we'll know till this game is right at the end. 
Yes. Who's going to win? This will be a close one in just under two minutes, a minute and a half or so, and we'll know. Teresa at 1675, Jose at 800, Aaron at 775. All right. A minute and 23 seconds remaining. And students, I think it's great that you got up so early on a Saturday morning to do math while you're playing a video game. Okay, Jose at 850, Aaron at 775, Teresa at 1,775. We are under one minute now. Don't forget, answer those questions, carry those fears over to the Tower of Rings. We're at Jose now, 850, Aaron, 775, Teresa still at 1775. With 40 seconds on the clock, Jose just broke the 1,000 barrier. Wow. Good job. And Aaron at 800 points now. Oh, 30 seconds. 30 seconds remaining. Don't give up because this, this still could be anybody's game. Teresa at 1,775. Jose at 1,100. Aaron at 800. 15 seconds. And Teresa jumps to 1875, Jose at 1100, and Aaron at 800. Five, four, three, two, one, game over. Right. Great job. All right, students. So, our winner today from our grade three competition in first place is Teresa from Henderson Elementary School, Jose in second place from McShan Elementary, and Aaron in third place from Jerry Junkins Elementary School. Great okay. job, everybody. Great job. We're going to sign off from our spectators. Students, please just stay with us. We have a few instructions following this. And for our spectators, we will be back at about 10 in about 15 15 minutes yeah. for the grade 4 match thank you very much <laughs> all right welcome to all of the folks here for the to uh watch the fourth grade math Olympiad event for Dallas ISD. We are going to start on my count of three. So three, two, one, and the students should be off. Okay, for our spectating audience, I just want to sort of give you a couple heads up on who we have participating today. We have students from Bertie Alexander Elementary School, Jerry Junkins Elementary School, and Lee McShan Elementary School in Dallas ISD. These are all fourth grade students, and this is our first one of two fourth grade competitions that we will be doing today. The second one will take place right after this one. So today, let's see, we already have students on the leaderboard. All Casey. Actually, every student is already on the leaderboard. Yes, every wow. student on the leaderboard. We've got Casey currently in the lead from Jerry Junkins Elementary with 175, followed by Stanford from Bertie Alexander with 100, Muhammad from Lee McShann at 75, tied with Ivan, who is from Bertie Alexander with 75, and we've got Francis Boy from Lee McShann also at 75, and Kylie at 75, and Caden at 25. We are at 8 minutes and 52 seconds remaining in this game. We've got plenty of time. This is anyone's game. So great job, students. For our spectators, in case you're wondering what is happening, you see students flying, jumping, moving back and forth. The game screen that you're seeing, the gameplay that you're seeing, students are need to go to one of two question terminals to receive a math problem that they need to solve. Once they solve that problem, they are given a travel power along with a sphere of one of four colors, either blue, red, yellow, or green. If they answered correctly, when they move over to the Tower of Rings, they navigate with one of the travel powers they were given. 
and they throw their sphere at the Tower of Rings. If you have, for example, a red sphere, your objective is to throw that sphere at a different color ring, the red, yellow, or blue. And if you answered correctly, it will change the color of that ring. If you can get three or more rings to match of the same color, it will cause them to collapse and you will earn bonus points. Bonus points are also earned by answering questions consecutively one after another. Otherwise, if you answer incorrectly, then you go back to the baseline points earning on your next question. So right now, we've got incredible scores already happening with Francis Boy from Lee McShann in the lead with 1,050, followed by Casey from Jerry Junkins at 650, Muhammad from Lee McShann at 450, Kelton 425 from Jerry Junkins, Stanford 350 from Bertie Alexander, Kylie from Bertie Alexander tied at 350, and Ivan at 200 and Caden, Caden at 200. Caden is from Jerry Junkins and Ivan is from Bertie Alexander. So great job, everyone, as we are just under the seven minute mark. Again, plenty of time remaining in this game. Anybody can take and become the winner. For our spectators, first place in today's um, first fourth grade competition will receive a $50 Amazon e-gift card. Okay, so I see Francis from Lee McShann at $13.50 now. Kelton from Jerry Junkins at $7.25, followed by Casey, also from Jerry Junkins at $6.75, and Stanford following closely at $5.50 from Bertie Alexander. Great job, everyone, as we approach the six-minute mark. We're not even halfway through, so again, plenty of time. Francis now up to $14.50. Excellent job. Let's, re let's look at um, bottom up from the leaderboard. We've got Ivan at $275, Caden at $325, Kylie at $450, Muhammad at $425, Stanford at $650, Casey $725, Kelton has advanced to $825, and Francis Boy still holding on to that lead with $1550 now. Oh, Stanford Whoa. just broke the thousand mark threshold. Great job. Uh, that is Stanford from Bertie Alexander. And Kelton is closing in from Jerry Junkins with 825, followed closely by Casey at 800. All right, so we're at five minutes, 15 seconds. So we are just about halfway through. Awesome job, everybody. Um, today, students are working on, um, from a math standpoint, they are working on multiplication and division, rounding of whole numbers, and addition and subtraction of decimals. All right, we have just crossed under the five minute mark. Excellent job, Miss Bishop, aren't these students just doing awesome today? They really are, and to do math on a Saturday is a big deal, so great job. For those of you who don't know, you cannot earn points in Dimension U without answering the questions correctly, so all these points mean these kids are doing a ton of math today, which is so cool. It is, it really is, especially doing math in the morning on Saturday. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. We now have three students who have crossed the 1,000 point threshold. We have Stanford at 1150, Kelton at 1325, and Francis Boy is almost at the 2,000 mark threshold, 1950. All right, excellent job. Ivan at 425, Caden at 575, Kylie at 650, Muhammad at 675, and Casey at 825. Just under the four minute mark, there is still plenty of time. Francis has broken the 2000 point ceiling and is now at 2250. Excellent job, everybody, but still plenty of time. This could be anybody's game. Absolutely. Keep it up. You all are doing a great job. And don't forget, at 2 p.m. today, Central Time, is the Dallas ISD SEM Expo award ceremony, of which the top three players from each one of our grade level competitions will receive a medal. Right, and remember for fourth grade, we do have another game room after this, so we'll be taking the top three um, from both game rooms for that announcement. But each game room will have their own first place prize. 
Okay, so we are three minutes now remaining. Francis at 2550, Kelton 1625, Stanford 1400, Casey 1000, Caden 875, Muhammad 825, Kylie 725, and Ivan 575. These are great scores for everybody. I can't wait to see what the final scores are. I think we might be breaking the 3,000 point threshold, which would be amazing. And Francis just jumped offline, so hopefully he will be able to get back on. Francis, your points are all safe, so as soon as you come back, oh, he's back. 2650, Kelton at 1925, Stanford at 1500, Casey now at 1300, Caden at 1275, Kylie 900, Muhammad 900, Ivan 675. Excellent. And we are approaching the two minute mark right now. All right. Excellent job, everybody. And Francis has just broken that 3000 mm. threshold. Great job, everybody. You have time for a couple more questions here. Keep going. I see this is the time in the game where I usually hope that my answer is green so I can teleport over to that tower. Yes, teleportation. That is my favorite power, travel power. I think, I think we're going to see everybody break the 1,000-point threshold, which is really very exciting. All right, a minute 23 remaining. We, Francis, at 34.50. Kelton, 2125, Caden, 1875. So let's see. Francis, again, is from Lee McShann. Kelton is from Jerry Junkin. Caden is from Jerry Junkin. Casey at 1600, also from Jerry Junkin. Stanford from Bertie Alexander. Kylie from Bertie Alexander with 1000. Ivan at 975. And uh, Muhammad at 925. This is great. We're less than a minute, but there is plenty of time. I really do think we're going to see an, a, a thousand point break. Don't give up. We're at 975 tied there between Ivan and Muhammad. Oh, wow. This is excellent. We are 30 seconds Everybody, now. Good job. Excellent job. Francis at 3650. Kelton 2325. Caden 2175. Casey, 1,800. Stanford, 1,600. Ivan, 1,175. Kylie, 1,000. Muhammad, 975. With 13 seconds, I will count down when we get to our five-second mark. And it looks like Francis is going to break 4,000. Four, <laughs> three, two, one. Game over. All Excellent right. job to all of our students. Fantastic job. Okay. So for our spectators, thank you very much for joining. Our next fourth grade round will begin in just a few minutes. Students, please stay on um, and we will be right back with our live stream. Thank you for joining us. And don't forget about the 2 p.m. award ceremony. All right, welcome to our second fourth grade competition for the Dallas ISD STEM Expo Math Olympiad today. All right, so welcome to all of our students. Welcome to all of our viewing audience. And we are going to start on my count of three, two, one. And students are off. We'll see who is the first person on the leaderboard. Uh, let me again welcome all of those that are viewing today for our fourth grade competition. We have 10 students participating from Onisimo Hernandez Elementary School, Victor Hexter Elementary School, and Whitney M. Young Elementary School in Dallas ISD. Okay, so we have our first player on the board was Jonathan from Young Elementary with 25. I see Bailey, James, uh, Jameson, Rodrigo, Everybody is jumping onto the board already, and that's great. This is a 10-minute round of the Tower Storm game from Dimension U. As you can see, spectators, 
students are moving back and forth with some type of travel power, such as a teleportation, a super jump, a jet pack, or a super speed power up that they have once they go to what we call a question terminal. There are two question terminals where students go to answer and solve a math problem. Once they do that, they then carry a sphere with a travel power that they receive. That sphere is one of four colors, red, green, yellow, or blue, when they approach the Tower of Rings in the Tower Storm game they need to throw the sphere that they're carrying at the rings. And the objective is to change the colors of the ring to match the sphere that they're coloring. So that they're carrying. So if they have a blue sphere, they want to throw it at a yellow, green, or red sphere. If they answered correctly, it will change the color to match the one they are carrying. If a student can get three or more, in a row on the tower, it will collapse them and they will earn bonus points. Another way that students can earn bonus points is by answering questions consecutively correctly. So students are that are playing are very familiar with this game. They're doing a great job. Let's take a look at our leaderboard thus far. Let's see, we have Jameson from Hexter Elementary in the lead, or I'm sorry, tied for the lead with Rodrigo from Hernandez Elementary School at 325, followed by Gabriel at Young Elementary with 250, who is also tied with Bailey from Hexter Elementary at 250. Jonathan at 150, Arturo at 125, Lily with 75, Renato with 50, and Layla with 50 as well. So great scores. We are only two minutes and 45 seconds into the game. There are seven minutes and 10 seconds remaining now. So plenty of time, anybody mm -hmm. could win this game. Absolutely. In case you're wondering, hey, what's the prize? Our first place winner in this round will receive a $50 Amazon e-gift card. We have two fourth grade competitions today. Between both, of those between both of those competitions, the top three will be recognized at the award ceremony and receive a medal. The award ceremony for the Dallas ISD STEM Expo begins at 2 p.m. Central Time. So please come back and tune in for that. All right, we are at six and a half minutes now with Jameson still in the lead, followed by Rodrigo. Gabriel, Bailey, Jonathan, Arturo, Lily, Layla, and Renata. These, everybody is doing a great job. For those of you wondering, what type of math are these students doing today? Well, um, we are, the students are focused on multiplication and division, rounding whole numbers, and addition and subtraction of decimals. Okay, we just crossed our six minute mark. Uh, Miss Bishop, aren't these students doing a great job today? They're doing fantastic. And if you didn't hear Mr. Hoyt, the only way to earn points in our games in Dimension U is to answer correctly. So we're talking about these fourth grade students who woke up early on a Saturday to answer all these math questions, and they're doing a really great job. We have a tie for second and third. These lead, the leads keep changing. It's hard to keep up. We see everyone moving up and down the leaderboard. You guys are doing awesome. For those watching the live stream, periodically we'll bring the leaderboard up into the front so you can see that, but it is back in the distance. As you can see from what you're watching right now, the students navigating back and forth depending upon the type of travel power. So you see some students doing a super jump. You see some students flying with a jet pack. You see some students running with a super speed and then others magically appear through teleportation from the question terminal over to the Tower of Rings. Okay, let's see, we've had a change. Jonathan from Whitney Young Elementary School is now in the lead and has broken the 1000 point barrier, um, followed by Jameson at 625. Gabriel at 425, tied with Lily and Bailey, and Rodrigo at 400, Layla with 350, Arturo at 175, Renata at 150. 
excellent scores. We are just under four and a half minutes remaining. So essentially, we almost have just a little bit less than half uh, of the tournament time remaining. This was a 10-minute Tower Storm game. Okay, so great job, everybody. Jonathan now jumped up to 1,100 points. Jameson at 700. Bailey and Gabriel at 475. Lily and Rodrigo at 425. Layla, 350. Arturo, 175. And Renata at 150. Okay, great job. Three minutes and 45 seconds remaining. I love seeing everybody go back and forth between the question terminal and the, and the, and the, towers, uh, and the Tower of Rings. Okay, so let's see. It looks like Jameson, oh, just made the 1,000-point mark and has crossed over that threshold. Bailey and Layla uh, tied at 550. Rodrigo and Gabriel tied at 475. Lily closely behind at 450. And Arturo and Renata following them. Okay, so everybody, we have three minutes and five seconds remaining. Great job. We now have a tie for first place with Jonathan and Jameson. Jonathan, remember, is from Young Elementary. Jameson is from Hexter Elementary. All right. it's We have so many tie scores. Bailey, <laughs> who is from um, Hexter Elementary, and Layla, who's from Hernandez Elementary School uh, are tied at 650. Gabriel, who's at Young with 575, followed closely by tie scores with Lily. Uh, Lily at Hexter Elementary and Rodrigo from Hernandez Elementary. Okay, Jameson just took the lead with 1,200 points. Jonathan at 1100, Bailey 650, Layla 650, Gabriel 650, Rodrigo 650, wow. a four-way <laughs> tie. Oh, Bailey just jumped up to 675 with an advance of 25 points over that. I'm and Jameson now at 1300. Final 2 minutes. There you have time for several more questions here, so I expect we'll see a lot of lead changes as well in these final 2 minutes. Yes. All right. Oh, Jameson now at 1400. Gabriel at 750. Layla at 725. Bailey at 675. Rodrigo at 650. Lily 550. Arturo 225. And Renata at 150. Okay, in a minute and a half. Still, there is tons of time to answer questions and gain those extra points. Remember, trying to collapse the colors, get three rings to match of the same color will earn you bonus points if you answered correctly. Jameson at 1500, Jonathan 1100, Gabriel 850, Layla 725, Rodrigo 700, Bailey 675, Lily 575, Arturo 250, and Renata 175. All right, we've just gone to the under one minute mark. So, Make sure you get to those questions. I see Jameson consistently climbing with 100 point increments. Great scoring job. Jameson at 1600 now, Jonathan at 1100. There is still time for anybody to win. We are at 37 seconds. I see a rush to the tower right now. So. Yes, we got to jump up there for second place tied right now with Gabriel and Jonathan. Jameson at 1700. I will count down when we get to the five second mark. Right now we are at 19, 18 seconds. Okay, great job. And Gabriel just pulls out for that second place lead at 1250 with 10 seconds remaining. And we are now five, four, three, two, one. Oh Excellent my. job, game over. All right, so our winner from this round in first place with Jameson from Hexter Elementary. Awesome job to all the students participating. Thank you, spectators, for participating and watching and supporting the kids. We're going to sign off. We'll be back with our first fifth grade competition in just a few minutes. Students, please don't go anywhere. We have a couple final instructions for you. Thank you, everybody.
All right, welcome to all of the viewing audience for the Dallas ISD Math Olympiad Grade 5 competition. Thanks for tuning in. Our students are in the game room and ready to begin. So on my count of three, we will start. Three, two, one. All right, students, you may begin. We'll see who the first person on the leaderboard will be. For those viewing audience, you can see the leaderboard and the students that are participating today. We have students from Bertie Alexander, Jerry Junkins Elementary, John J. Pershing Elementary, and Lee McShann Elementary. These are all fifth grade students. And let's see, we already have Giselle on the leaderboard, Dario, Gustavo, and Jeremy. Great job. We're off to an excellent start. For those of you who are viewing, I'm going to take a minute and just explain what the students are doing. As you can see on the screen, students are running to one of two what we call question terminals. When they approach the terminal, they receive a math problem to solve on their screen. Once they answer the problem, they are provided with a travel power so it might be a super speed, a super jump, a jet pack, or a teleportation that will help them travel from the question terminal over to what we call the Tower of Rings. Now, they are also given a sphere that they're carrying. We sort of refer to it as a power unit. And the object is to throw that power unit at the Tower of Rings. And each one of the power units that they carry is of either one of four colors, blue, red, green, or yellow. The objective is to throw your power unit at a ring of a different color so that you change the color of the ring to match the power unit you're carrying. So you must throw the unit at a different colored ring on the tower. If you can convert three rings next to each other to the same color, it will cause those rings to collapse, which is what you want to do, and students will earn bonus points. Now, they will only be able to collapse the ring or change the ring color if they have solved the math problem correctly. The more math problems that students solve correctly in a row or consecutively, the more bonus points they can also earn versus if you solve a math problem and you answer incorrectly, then you go back down to the base level earn, uh, point earnings. Okay, so let's check in and see where the students are at. We are at the seven minute and 20 minute mark. This is a 10 minute game of what uh, of the game from Dimension U called Tower Storm. So from the leaderboard view right now, we have Neville in the lead with 525 points. Amin is in second place with 350. Gustavo, uh, well, Jeremy, I'm sorry, just took, play, took second place with 450, followed by Amin at 350, Gustavo at 350, so he's tied for third place. Giselle at 225, Dario at 200, Cafayo at 150, Julian at 775. And Oscar is navigating to the Tower of Rings. Okay, so we have six and a half minutes, so there is plenty of time. Mm -hmm. Anybody could still win this game. It can change like a snap, particularly if you end up collapsing a bunch of rings and you've answered correctly. So, all right, six minutes and 22 seconds. Neville at 625 now, still in the lead, followed by Jeremy at 450. Followed by Dario. Oh, Jeremy just, um, we Jeremy. Sw they swapped. Everybody. They swapped. <laughs> yes, Jeremy at 475, Gustavo at 425. All right, so let's check in and see. Neville is from our Lee McShann Elementary School. Jeremy is from our Jerry Junkins Elementary School. Gustavo is from Pershing Elementary. Great job. Dario at 400 is from Bertie Alexander. Amin at 350 from Lee McShan. Neville still holding on to that lead at 650, but Gustava is creeping up. He's at 525 right now. Jeremy and him just keep flipping back and forth. Jeremy's at 625, only 25 points away from the lead position 
that Neville currently has at 650. All right, everybody is on the leaderboard earning points. We are almost at the halfway point, but not quite there, about 15 seconds before we get to the five minute mark. The students are doing great. As far as mathematics concepts that students are playing, what you're not seeing is the math problem that students are answering when they go up to the question terminal. Each one of those math problems is focused on one of three skills for today's competition. One is multiplication, one is estimating with decimals, and another is finding common factors and greatest common, uh, greatest common factors. So, Jeremy just jumped up to the lead position, has 800 points, followed closely by Gustavo with 725, Neville with 725, Dario at 400, tied with Amin at 400, Julian 275, tied with Giselle at 275, Kafayo at 200, Oscar at 25. All right, great job, everyone. We are almost at the four minute mark, 15 seconds to go before we get to the four minute mark. Great scores. Everybody is doing a fantastic job. We have one more fifth grade competition after this one. However, the winner of each one of our fifth grade competitions, the person who comes in first place will receive a $50 Amazon e-gift card. Jeremy at the first place with 1,100 points has broken that 1,000 point ceiling. Gustava is almost there, is almost breaking that ceiling. Oh, oh Neville took over. Neville just broke the 1,000 point ceiling. All right, Gustavo at 925, Amin at 525. Giselle jumped up to 425. Great job, Dario at four. Where'd Dario go? 450 now. Giselle jumped up to 500. I mean, at 525. Um, we now have three people above the 1,000 mark with Gustava in the lead. Okay, Jeremy and Neville at 1,000. I'm in now at 625. Uh, the advancement in points is going quick. So who knows who's well, going to end up winning? Right now for first and second. Yes, 1125. A tie score with Jeremy and Gustava. Jeremy, again, is from Jerry Junkins. Gustava is at Pershing. Neville, oh, Neville just took the lead from Lee McShann uh, with 1,200 points. Giselle is now in fourth place with 700 points from Bertie Alexander. All right. Let's see. Amin at 625. Dario, 500. Julian, 425, Kafayo 325, and Oscar is at 50. Two minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Neville still hanging on to his lead from Lee McShan with 1,500, but filed very closely by Jeremy at 1,250 and tied for a second with Gustavo. All right, and Giselle keeps coming up with her points at now at... Uh, 1,100 has broken that 1,000-point barrier. We have slightly under two minutes remaining in the game. These are great scores. These fifth graders are doing a fantastic job. I'm so happy to see everybody here today. Thank you to all of our spectators who are watching and supporting the students on our live feed. All right, so it's getting very close with a minute and a half remaining. Neville at 1,700 points. Jeremy at 1650, only 50 points away from first place. Gustava at 1325. Giselle now at 1200. A minute 650. Dario 575. Kafayo 525. Julian 475. Oscar 75. All right. Awesome job. Almost at the minute mark. When we get down, I'll count down when we get down to our 10 second, um, our 10 second mark. It looks like Neville has wow. just cracked the 2,000 ceiling. And Jeremy and Gustava and Giselle are on their way to doing the same. Under a minute remaining, make sure you get those questions, answer correctly, carry them to the tower, and try to collapse as many rings as you can. All right. 40 seconds remain. Neville's still hanging on to that lead. I have a feeling Jeremy and Gustava and Giselle are planning something. Um... <laughs> Gustava at 1725, Jeremy at 1650, Giselle 
at 1225. I do want to say if I've mispronounced anybody's name, I sincerely apologize. I practiced saying all these names yesterday continuously. Okay, 15 seconds remain. Neville hanging on to that lead with 2,400 points. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Game over. Oh, Congratulations. Nice. All right. So in our first fifth grade round, our winner of this competition was Neville from Lee McShan, followed very closely by Gustavo from Pershing Elementary with 1825 and Jeremy with 1625 from Jerry Junkins and Giselle from Bertie Alexander. That's great. Our top four players, all from different schools. We're going to sign off from our live stream. Students, please hang on. We have a few ending instructions. Thank you for everyone who watched. Remember, at 2 p.m. Central Time is the award ceremony where the top three students will be awarded a medal. And come back for our fifth grade competition that will be started in just a few minutes. Thanks very much. drawing. Okay, welcome to our second iteration of our fifth grade Dallas ISD Math Olympiad competition. Starting in just a moment, we have all of our students teed up and we're going to do a countdown starting from three, two, one. Start our match. Okay, so for today's fifth grade competition, this is our second fifth grade competition today. We have students from Onisimo Hernandez Elementary School, Segoville North Elementary School, Victor Hexter Elementary School, Whitney M. Young Elementary School, and William Anderson Elementary School. So good luck. Students are already in gameplay. They are playing a 10-minute game of Dimension U's Tower Storm game. Right now, we have Oscar, also known as Dream, on the leaderboard with 50 points. Owen uh, with 25, tied with Bennett and Ernesto with 25 points. Everybody is jumping on the board. It looks like Oscar just jumped up to 200 points for a big, quick lead at the beginning of the game. So excellent job. Let me just take a moment and explain for the viewing audience how Tower Storm works. So... Right now on your viewing screen, you see students surrounding one of two question terminals. They each, when a student walks up to the terminal, they receive a question on their screen that they have to answer. After they answer the problem, they are given a travel power, whether it's a super speed, a teleportation, a super jump, or a jet pack. And a power unit that looks like a sphere that they're carrying that's either yellow, green, red, or blue. They need to carry that over to or travel to the Tower of Rings, which you should be seeing on your screen in just a moment. From here, they need to throw that power unit to the up to the Tower of Rings. And the objective is to change the color of the rings on the tower to match the one that you're carrying. So, for example, if you're carrying a blue power unit, you would want to throw it at a red, yellow, or green ring and have it change to match the color that you're carrying. It will only change if the student solved the math problem correctly. If you can get three rings of the same color or more up against one another, they will collapse and the student will earn bonus points. But remember, they only earn points if they have solved the math problem correctly. In addition, bonus points can be earned if a student consecutively or a player consecutively answers questions correctly in a row. Okay, so let's check in with our leaderboard. We are at the seven minute, 10 second mark with Josue from Segoville North 
Elementary in the lead with 375. Oscar, a.k.a. Dream, from Onisimo Hernandez with 275. Bennett from Hexter Elementary with 250. Josiah with 250. Cruz with 250. Bennett with 250. Oh my gosh. Got a <laughs> multi-way tie there for uh, for one, two, three, fourth place. Owen with 225. Edison at 125. Ernesto at 75. And Andrew at 50. Six and a half minutes remaining. Great job, everyone. These are great scores that we're seeing so far. Victoria just jumped up into third place with 300. In second is Eduardo. Um, let's see. Victoria is over at Young Elementary. Eduardo is at Anderson Elementary with Josue still holding on to that lead at 475 from Segoville North Elementary. Excellent scores. Oh, Victoria just jumped up to second with 400, 400 points. All right. And just under six minutes remaining in the game. Everybody's doing an excellent job. These are awesome scores. And I'm looking for the first person to break that 1,000-point barrier. Okay, so Josue up there at 675. Victoria now at 500. Oscar, a.k.a. Dream, at 375. But Owen just slipped into third place with 400. Bennett at 325. Tied with Eduardo at 325. And Cruz at 325. Josiah at 250, Edison 125, Ernesto 75, tied with Andrew also at 75. And a little bit more than five minutes remaining, so we are just approaching the halfway point. It looked like, let's see, Josue inching the way up to 1,000. He's currently at 875. Victoria now at 600, Oscar at 450, Owen at 400, tied with Bennett at 400, and Cruz at 400. They seem to all be moving in tandem. Eduardo at 400. All right, great job, everyone. We have just crossed the halfway point. There's still plenty of time. Anybody could still win this game. All right, so let's see. I see Oscar has jumped up and taken second place with 750 followed very closely by Victoria at 700. Josue still holding on to that lead at 925. All right. And Oscar just jumped up to 850. But look, now we have a tie for third with Victoria and Bennett, both at 700. Cruz jumped up to 600 points. Eduardo now at 475 and Owen at 400. Josiah at 250, Edison at 150, Ernesto now at 125, and Andrew hanging at 75. We have reached the four-minute mark. Still, again, plenty of time. Anybody could win this game still. All right. And Victoria jumps into second at 900 points. Oscar with 875, Cruz and Bennett at 700, Eduardo at 675. Excellent job, everyone. And I think we are almost going to see a breaking at the 1,000 point barrier. And it happened. Victoria go. jumps in first place, but then Josue jumped back into <laughs> first place with 1,050 points. This is such a close game. Oscar is almost there. He's just about to break that 1,000 point barrier. We are at three minutes and 12 seconds. Great job, everybody. All right, let's check in and see. Um, Eduardo, 775 in fourth place. Oh, nope, that just changed because Cruz jumped up with 800 points into fourth place. Eduardo, 775, tied with Bennett, 775. Uh, Owen, 525 in seventh place. Josiah, 375. Edison, 200. Ernesto, 125. And Andrew now at 100. Great job. Two minutes and 40 seconds remaining. It is a battle for those top three positions. We've got Josue with 1350. Victoria with 1025. Oscar with 950. And very closing in on that gap is Eduardo with 875. Almost at the two-minute mark. This is a great, excellent game. Everybody's doing a fantastic job. Thank you all for those that are watching. Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention for those that are watching, 
the mathematics that students are playing inside of the game, you are not seeing the problems that are pulling up at each student's individual screen, but they are focused around multiplication, estimating with decimals, and greatest common factors. All right, let's see. Down, we are now under two minutes. Josue hanging on to that lead with 1650. Victoria just jumped up to 1150. Eduardo now in third place with 1075. Cruz in fourth place with uh, 1000. Oh, but Oscar just took fourth place at, 10, at 1025. We've got one, two, three, four, five students who have broken the 1,000 point barrier. Bennett closing in on that with 800. Oh, and 700. Josiah now at 575. Edison, 325. Andrew, 175. And Ernesto, 125. With a minute and 10 seconds remaining. Plenty of time to still jump your score up. So remember, solve the problem correctly. Bring it back over to the tower. Try to get the rings to collapse. Remember, if you can get three or more of the same color next to each other, that will earn you bonus points if you have solved the problem, the math problem correctly. Okay, Josue taking a little deeper lead at 1850 with or Eduardo now in second place at 1175. Very closely followed by Victoria, who just now is, went into fourth place because Cruz jumped up to second place with 1,200, who is tied with Eduardo at 1,200. Excellent job, Oscar, at 1075. We have 23 seconds remaining. There is still time. It looks like Josue is going to break the 2,000-point barrier. Keep playing. Don't give up. Go grab and answer those questions. All right, Josue, 1950. Cruz, 1,400. We are down at seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Game. All right. Excellent job, everybody. Wow. All right. So for our second fifth grade competition, Josue from Segoville North Elementary. Congratulations. I think you are our first winner today of the day from Segoville. Thank you to our viewing audience. We will be back shortly with our sixth grade competition. Students, please hang on the line. We have a few end of game instructions for you. All right, welcome to our viewing audience to the sixth grade Dallas ISD Math Olympiad. Thank you for joining us. The students are in their game and ready to play. Today we have students participating from Hotchkiss Elementary School, Longfellow Career Exploration Academy, and T.W. Brown. Okay, so we have six players in this game today, and I am going to do a countdown to start our game room with a counting back from three, two, one, start. Okay, so as the students are getting underway, we are doing a 10 minute tower storm game from Dimension U. The Dimension U game room today has students solving math problems that are focused under an algebra topic area of analyzing patterns patterns using variables and expression solving linear equations and translating to algebra so these students are to be commended for coming and participating and doing math on a saturday but having fun playing in a video game challenge the first place winner in today's game room will receive a 50 dollar amazon gift card um, at the 2 p.m. award ceremony for the STEM Expo, the top three students will be recognized and re each receive a medal. Okay, so let's see where we are in the game um, right now. We have Daniel from Longfellow in first place. Well, we have a tie for first place right now. We have Daniel from Longfellow and Brian from T.W. Brown. Oh, Daniel just took the lead with 150. Brian at 75. Ronnie uh, from Hotchkiss Elementary had, at 50. Jacinto, uh, also from Hotchkiss, is at 25 points. 
Okay, and we still have eight minutes and 30 seconds remaining in this game. So for our viewing audience so that you understand how the game is played, students will navigate to one of two terminals. And you can see them on your screen right now. There are two different what we call question terminals below that big leaderboard. And when students walk up to there, they are presented with a math problem on their screen. The math problems are not displaying on the live stream. Students see them privately on their own screen. When a student answers the problem, they receive a travel power to carry a power unit, a power unit that they are also given. One of those travel powers could be teleportation or super speed or super jump or a jet pack that helps them travel over to what we call the Tower of Rings. At the Tower, Tower of Rings, the students are responsible for throwing the power unit they have at the tower. You'll see that there are four different color rings on the tower, red, yellow, green, and blue. The objective is to throw the power unit at a ring to have it change and match the color of the of the power unit you're carrying. So for example, if you are carrying a green power unit, you would throw it at a yellow, red, or blue because you are trying to change the color of that ring to match the color of, of the one you are carrying. If a student gets three or more of those rings in the same color next to each other, it collapses and earns them bonus point. But the rings will not change color unless the student has solved the math problem correctly. So no points are earned unless students answer the problems correctly. And as students navigate in the game, the more questions they answer consecutively in a row, the more bonus points they will earn. Okay, so let's check in on the leaderboard. And our time remaining is 6 minutes and 22 seconds. Daniel is still maintaining the lead with 500 points. Brian, Jacinto, and Ronnie are all at 100 points in a three-way tie for second place. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right. So let's see. Okay. So... Daniel still hanging on to that first place with 600 point, but looks like Ronnie jumped up into second place. Ronnie from Hotchkiss jumped up into second place with 300 points. Jacinto, also from Hotchkiss, is now at 175. Brian is at 125 from T.W. Brown. Sylvia is at 25 from Hotchkiss as well. Okay, five minutes and 30 seconds remaining. So we're not even quite at the halfway mark. We're almost there. Mm -hmm. So students, keep playing. You're doing a great job. Anybody could still win this game. Daniel now up at 900 points. Ronnie at 525. Jacinto at 275. Brian 125. And Sylvia at 25. Okay, great job. This has been a great day. I don't know how many others out there watching um, would want to be doing math on today. But uh, I think the Tower Storm game makes it a little little more fun. Oh, and we have Daniel has broken the 1,000 point barrier. Awesome job. Ronnie is closing in with 625. Jacinto now at 275. Brian at 175. And Sylvia now at 75. Great job. Four minutes and 35 seconds remaining in the sixth grade math Olympiad competition today as part of the STEM Expo. Just a reminder, at 2 p.m. today, there will be the Dallas ISD STEM Expo Award Ceremony. So the top three students will be recognized. Daniel now at 1,200 points. Ronnie at 925. Jacinto, 275. Brian, 175. And Sylvia, 75. All right, with four minutes remaining in the game, Still plenty of time. I see Daniel still going up in 100-point increments. Is at 1,300. Ronnie almost at that 1,000-point barrier, barrier with uh, 925. Jacinto, 275. Brian has jumped up to 200 now. All right. Awesome job.
All right, look at those students. I love seeing the students go back and forth between the question terminal and the tower. My favorite power up personally is the teleportation because it just magically takes you over to the tower. All right, Daniel, now at 1600. Ronnie at 950. Jacinto, 300. Brian, 200. Sylvia, 75. Three minutes and 10 seconds remaining. Well, it looks like Daniel is probably going to crack the 2,000 point barrier. There is still uh, just under three minutes left in the game. And Daniel's already at 1,800. Ronnie at 950. Jacinto at 300. And Brian at 200. And there's a lot of jetpacks right now. So there is, there is a lot of jetpacks. We're going to see that switching over in just a minute here. Great job. All right. Daniel, 1,900. Ronnie, 950. 2,100 now for, oh, for that's first right. place. First place, Daniel, 2,100 points. Ronnie now at 950. Closing in two minutes remaining. Well, two minutes and five seconds. When we get down to like the remaining 10 seconds, I will do a countdown. <clears throat> Daniel now at 2,200 points. Um, also, students have access to our upcoming competition, Dimension U competition, called the Spring into Math competition, which is divided into four separate weekly competitions during the month of March. Um, depending upon their scores, they can also qualify for the Winner's Circle competition in May. Okay, where are we now? Ronnie at 975, Jacinto 325, Brian 225, Sylvia now at 100. Great job. A minute and 15 seconds remaining. Get those questions. Carry those power units over to the tower. As we approach the one minute mark. All right, everybody has time for a couple more questions. I see a few heading back to the tower now. I think they're all concentrating for these last 45 seconds. Yes. Uh, Daniel at 2225. 40 seconds remaining. Don't give up. You might land a big bonus score. You can collapse some of those rings together. Ronnie has just broken the 1,000 point barrier. Jacinto at 350, Brian at 225, Sylvia at 125 now. 20 seconds remaining. And let's see what those last minute scores are going to do. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great job, game over. All right, so Daniel takes the game with 2,225 points. That is Daniel from Longfellow. Great job, everybody. Um, we are going to say goodbye to our viewing audience. Students, please stay on the line, um, and we will have a few follow-up with you. Don't forget the award ceremony at 2 p.m. today um, on the Dallas ISD STEM Expo. Thanks, everybody who joined for supporting the students. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Welcome back to our viewing audience for the Math Olymp for the Dallas ISD Math Olympiad competition for seventh and eighth grade. Today, all of our student participants are from T.W. Brown, and we are looking forward to the competition, which is going to start in just a moment. <clears throat> Today's game that they will be playing is a 10-minute game of Tower Storm. You will see students 
in the same game from both 7th and 8th grade participating. Each, um, we have two separate prizes, the top, uh, the first place 8th grade and the first place 7th grade student will each receive a $50 Amazon e-gift card and our top three players from each grade level will also be recognized at the Dallas ISD STEM Expo award ceremony at 2 p.m. today. So uh, almost immediately or shortly thereafter this um, this session. So this is our last Math Olympiad game challenge today. Um, I think we are ready to get started. So I'm going to do a countdown of three, two, one, and then we will go. So three, two, one, and the game has started. So we'll see who jumps onto the leaderboard as a matter of information um, in terms of the type of mathematics that students will be practicing and playing inside of the game today. Our seventh graders will be focusing on rational and irrational numbers, solving percent problems and order of operations. Our eighth graders will be focused on percents less than 1% and above 100% exponents of zero and negative values, and square roots. <clears throat> so, good luck to all of our students. I know this is great to have them here playing uh, the Tower Storm game and solving math on a Saturday afternoon. And it looks like Helen from T.W. Brown, well, actually, all the students are from T.W. Brown. So, Helen has taken first place with 100 points. We are one minute into the game. Looks like Michelle has taken second place and Michaela is in third place. Well, we have a tie for third place between Michaela and Cindy. Okay, so great job. And Helen now is up at um, in first place with 250 points. Michaela at 75. Michelle at 50. Tied with Cindy at 50. Uh, Chris at 25, so everybody's on the leaderboard. <clears throat> and let's see what happens. We're at eight and a half minutes. Uh, for our viewing audience, so that you can understand if you're uh, not sure of how the game works, what you're seeing is students running to one of two question terminals. So you can see off in the distance those small little, um, uh, what we call question terminals that are underneath the leaderboard. So when a student navigates up in front of that, they receive a math problem that they have to solve. After answering the math problem, they receive a travel power and what we call a power unit that looks like a round sphere that they carry with them over to the tower. The travel power that they receive is one of either teleportation, super speed, super jump, or a jet pack that helps transport them over to the tower and they need to throw the power unit they're carrying up at the Tower of Rings. And the goal is to change the color of individual rings on the tower to match the power unit color that you're carrying. So a student will either be having, or will either have a yellow, green, red, or blue one, and they need to throw it up at uh, a tower ring of the opposite color of their carrying. So I have a red, power unit that I'm carrying, I need to try and hit a green, yellow, or blue ring. It will change the color of that ring to match the power unit, the color of the power unit that I'm carrying. If I can get three or more of those rings to have the, be next to each other and have the same color, that will collapse them. But the rings only change color if the student has solved the math problem correctly. And that's the only way to earn points in the game. So let's check in on our leaderboard. Wow. Helen is now up at 1,150 points. Michaela is in second place with 250 points. Cindy at 200. Michelle at 75. And Chris at 50. Still plenty of time. We're not even halfway through. We're at the six minute and 15 second mark. So lots of time. I see Michaela now has jumped up to 350. Helen's still hanging tight at 1150, but she's already broke the 1000 barrier. Helen, I think you win the award for breaking the 1000 point barrier fastest today of any student that has participated across all of the grade level competitions today. So great job. 
Okay. Remember, all of these students are participating from T.W. Brown. And Helen has jumped up to 1350. Michaela at 450 now. Cindy at 200. Chris at 100. And Michelle at 75. So approaching the halfway point, we're at 5 minutes and 30 seconds. So 30 seconds until we get to the halfway or midpoint of the game. Helen keeps creeping up with the points. We got 1450. It seems that she keeps advancing in 100 to 150 point increments. Michaela now at 550 on her way to breaking the 1000 point barrier. Cindy as well at 350. Chris at 175. Michelle just jumped up to 100 points. Excellent job. <clears throat> okay. And there we go. We have just crossed the five minute halfway point of the game. Still, anybody's game, any student could win. Still, remember that we are actually having two separate individual competitions. We have our eighth graders and our seventh graders. So if we check in with that, as far as our seventh grade competition, Helen is in first place, first place with 1,650 points. For our eighth grade competition, it looks like Michaela is in first place with 650 points. So awesome job. Four minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Let's just run down our leaderboard one more time. We've got Michelle at 100, Chris at 375, Cindy from 400, Michaela now at 750, and Helen at 1650. Awesome. Oh, Helen just jumped up to 1850 just as we cross over the four minute mark. Fantastic. Okay. <clears throat> these students are doing a great job today. They are, and I was thinking about how hard these questions are. They really are. They, you know, so those of you who are watching at home, you might notice the score might change, you know, a little bit more in some of our other competitions because the questions are a little bit easier for our third and fourth graders. So for these seventh and eighth graders to be doing this level of math um, and getting these kind of points is pretty amazing. Yes, they're doing a great job. And they do take a little bit longer to work through as you're, <clears throat> as you're participating in the game. So I think Helen has a good chance, though, of breaking the 2,000 point barrier because she just advanced to 1950. Michaela is at 750, Cindy at 525. And I think we have Cindy and Michaela, both of the eighth graders, so they're very close. Chris now at 500 and Michelle at 150. So great job. We just crossed our three minute threshold. So a little bit under three minutes remaining in the game. And this will end our Dallas ISD math <clears throat> Olympiad for 2022. Next year, we are hoping to be back in person. And um, as a reminder um, for our viewing audience, um, what I may not have told you is that in March, we also have a competition for the entire month called the Spring into Math competition that students can participate in and have an opportunity to not only win prizes, but qualify for our end of school year competition in May called the Winner's Circle, um, where we have some great prizes. You can find all of that information on our website under the eSports tab. All right, let's see where we are. And yes, Helen has broken the 2,000 barrier, is now at 2,450 points. Michaela is at 800. Chris now at 700. Cindy at 650. And Michelle at 275. We have a minute and 48 seconds remaining in the game. So again, still a lot of time to earn points, solve those math problems, get those power units brought over to the tower. Excellent job. And we now have a tie, at least on the leaderboard, for second place because Michaela is at 800 and so is Chris, with Cindy fast approaching, currently at 650 points. All right. Oh, Helen advances again to 2,650 points. Michaela and... Oh, Michaela has just advanced another 50 to 850. Chris, 800. Cindy, 650. Michael, Michelle now up to 275 as we cross the one-minute barrier. So we are now under one minute. 
with Helen almost breaking the 3,000 barrier, currently at 2,850 points, Michaela 850, Chris 800, Cindy 650, and Michelle 275. Oh, Cindy just jumped up to 675. Great job. As we approach the 32nd mark as of now. Okay, great job. Michaela has broken the 1,000-point barrier with 1,075 points. Helen, 2850. Chris, 800. Cindy, 675. And Michelle, 375 now. Excellent job. And I am going to start the countdown at our 10 second mark. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Excellent job. Right. Great job. Okay. So just to announce formally, our first place seventh grade winner is Helen, and our first place eighth grade winner is Michaela. They are the first, they are the top two spots on the leaderboard. Helen, great job with 2,875 points. Michaela with 1,075 points. Awesome job. Okay, so students, if you will hang tight and stay on the line with us, we're going to end our live viewing for today. Stay tuned for just a moment and we will have an ending message as we finish up our day. Thanks very much. Wow, what an awesomely mathematical day, combining math and video games into an exciting eSports event. On behalf of Dimension U and the Dallas ISD STEM department, thank you for joining us and supporting the students. We'll see you next year, and don't forget to watch the award ceremony coming up shortly on the Dallas ISD STEM Expo page.